custom gloves and head guard from Grace Gears. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon full-time amateur boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I'll bring you all things boxing equipment today I've got some custom gear by Grace Gears both their gloves and also their cheek head guard I'm going to rate and rank both of these items give you a really good look round both let's start off with the uh, the gloves now what happens is if you have a look on Grace Gear's website, I'll include below in the links of this video uh, the website address and on there you can have a look and you can find the custom link that is in there and on there you can design your own gloves whether it be velcro or whether it be lace and you can also do the head guard as well and what it is they're leather gloves and head guard and you can pick all of the colours on all of the parts of all of the, the equipment. Uh, you can even put sort of, as I've got there, you can even put sort of your own logo on. And also even down to the colour of the stitching. So let me move that to, to one side. So as you can see, this is these gloves. And I think they look absolutely superb in the colours that I picked. On screen now, I'll put a picture of the colour scheme that I sort of sent off and then obviously these are the gloves that came as a result of that so as I show you and I picked shine leather colours not the matte leather colours so they're not like metallic as in the shiny metallic they do call them shine leather so I went shine leather red shine leather blue and also shine leather in the silver as well and I did go with the gold stitching. Now, in terms of the cost for this, the Velcro version is £260, the lace version is £250, and this head guard is £175. So let me just go through the style. As you can see, you have got on the back there grey skiers, and I did that with a silver with a blue outline. You've got the fit to box logo on that rear sort of rectangle, and then you've got a rubber badge at the back, which is grey skiers, and that is fully encapsulated, so no rough edges there. As I bring it round, on the front there you have got the 16 ounce indicator. You've also got that these are a custom uh, design pair. I'll bring that down so you can see the whole of the Velcro and then as I say this is a, a good, good standard of leather there as I press into there there's a medium to soft knuckle area. The only thing I would say which I wish they hadn't done is you have got this seam that runs all the way around and obviously I think that that is a little bit rough when it comes to sparring. Uh, the only other glove really that I've seen that on was their Everlast Elites. And again, I had the same observation. I don't really know why stitching would go over the punch surface. So I have marked this glove down in sparring for that. I have used it in sparring, but I made sure that my sparring partner had a head guard on to make sure that that couldn't sort of scrape in any way. Uh, against the face or the eyes it's not super rough or anything it is it is soft but as i say i would prefer it if these gloves didn't have that so let me bring round onto the thumb you can see the fit to box there you've got the leather attachment which is in the correct place and at the front there you have got five air holes going onto that wrist you've got the rubber badge which i like you've got soft padding 
soft padding at the front, like there, and also underneath that Velcro there as well. And at the rear, you've got like a fur mat, but still soft rear padding. On the front, they are easy to open. You've got a grip bar there, which is a, a soft grip bar. You've got four air holes above that grip bar, and you've also got a small elastic piece just to stop that gape. And then as we look at the stitching, uh, the stitching is in gold. It's not as neat and accurate as a 260 pound glove normally would be. Okay, so I do want to point that out. And there is a lot of stitching on the rear of the glove and also, as I say, on the face. But if you look at that sort of on the near the beading, I think that needs to be closer to the to the beading and a little bit, a little bit more neat. The lining is a soft and spongy lining in there and that's very comfortable. Okay, so Grace Gears, I have got 16 ounce in big on the front there. So let's put these onto the scales. So that is 16.3 for a Velcro, that is perfect. And let's have a look at this one. And we've got 16.2, again, for a Velcro, 16 ounce on the label, that is perfect. Let me try them on. So the first one, I will say that they are a comfortable glove. As I bring that round like so, the finger pad is flat, so I can feel like a flat piece. Um, so that is comfortable. The rear of the finger knuckles and the, and the cuticles, again, there's nothing scraping there. Again, that is comfortable. And a thumb, a thumb that is comfortable as it goes in the right, tucked in to the side of the glove. So that is fine. You can open that hand up, no problem. And that wrist does a good job of securing sort of the wrist area and the fist. So as I come round, let's try the other one on. And again, the same again, no areas of discomfort, uh, a little bit of tightness there, but I wouldn't say that it was particularly uncomfortable. And again, both of these you can open up. So I use them for sparring, and apart from that seam on the knuckle, I really enjoyed using them. Uh, I do prefer them on the bag, okay, because I think uh, uh, with that seam, um, I think it just detracts from what these could have been. So hopefully grey skiers can get rid of that seam. I don't know whether or not that's holding that padding in place, but of course there is many, many gloves that haven't got that seam. So if I was them, I would do, I would do without that. So as I say, when I've hit them on the bag, I've used them for a lot of rounds on the bag and I really enjoyed using them. Uh, let's get the fit to box ratings card on the screen. Okay, so these are gonna go into the fit to box heavyweight Velcro division. Okay, so that is for gloves between 201 English pounds to 400 English pounds or 251 US dollars to 500 US dollars. Style, I've got 94. I think they're a really great looking glove. Uh, I was really pleased how they turned out to the sort of the design that I sent off. Comfort, very comfortable, 96. Durability, 95. I think that these are made of some really good leather and I do like the stitching even though in place could be a little neater. Sparring, I have marked sparring down to 93. That seam on the punch surface for me, these gloves would be much better without that. On the bag I've got 95 and value for money I've got 92 at 260 UK pounds. I think for a grey skiers glove I think that's pricey. I really do because at the end of the day, um, the you know you're talking Clayton Reyes money there uh, at that sort of price. And I know that they're custom colours, but there is a lot of other brands out there that are doing custom gloves uh, and not charging uh, two hundred and sixty pounds. So overall, I've gone ninety four point one. So they do attain one fit to box star and come out as very good. And as I say, you know, I have really enjoyed using them. I love what they look like. I love the customization of them sort of with the fit to box uh, uh, font on there as well, on the rear and also on the thumb. Um, so at 94.1, one fit to box star, very good.
So let me just move now onto the head guard. Put that to one side. And again, this is a leather head guard. And we just put that on. So I'll bring that round. And I do think that it's great style that they've got here that really does perfectly fit with the gloves. Um, in terms of vision, I've got good vision. I can see the cheek bars here. Uh, if I move to the side and I'm there, I can see the camera. So peripheral vision from there is good. And then if I look, I'm looking there and I can see the camera still there as well. On the top, we've got the lace. And on the rear, we have got the Velcro. And that Velcro has got like two pieces of Velcro and also a pad at the rear as well. And then underneath, we've got a clip. And that clip goes on fine. So we have got sort of like the winning clip that is on the bottom. Obviously, this one is a is bigger than you get on a winning uh, FG 2900 but essentially it is a good clip I didn't find that that come loose while I was using it and then the inside again the inside of that head guard as I was using it I didn't find that it moved and it really did perform very well on the top there you've got again you've got the same rubber badge that you've got on the gloves got there fully encapsulated so that wasn't a problem at all and I really like that it really does feel quality you've got the ear bars with some firm ear padding on around the ear and then you've got the ear bars in the blue there there's the top of the head guard and then on the front as well you have got some stitching that goes around those cheek bars now it doesn't doesn't add anything it just aesthetically You've got stitching there where normally you wouldn't have stitching. And then as I bring that round, you can see that at the rear there and what they've done when it comes to that. So you've got a padding, you've got some Velcro, and you've also got a little bit of elastic there to give you as good a fit as possible. And I felt that this was a great fit for me. Now this one is 175 UK pounds. And as you can see, uh, it's well made. You can also see, you know, you have got that stitching. And again, in places, it's just a little rough. It's not, you know, super neat. But um, I do think that it is well made. I don't think that it's like bits of it are going to come uh, sort of apart or anything. It's just a matter of just neatness. So let me get on screen the fit to box ratings card. And we have got, I have gone style 94, comfort 95, durability 95, vision 95, protection 95, and value for money 94. So that comes out at 94.6, and I think that that is a two star great head guard by Grace Gears. Um, I've weighed it as well. It's not the lightest head guard. It is 16.8 ounces. So for a cheek head guard, um, it's a little heavy, um, but not heavy considering that it is a full leather head guard. Okay, so it's not synthetic leather. It has also got obviously the extra weight that will be in that Velcro arrangement at the rear as well. Okay, so I th if I was to improve this, I think I would go lace at the back. It would take a bit of that weight away, and obviously you'd be able to get a good fit with the lace. I think you'd probably be able to get a better fit with the lace than the Velcro. As it is, um, with this one, because it's a clip, I would just slide it on like so, and then you just clip it in, easy as that, okay? And then nice protection all the way around, Ears feel comfortable, back of the head feels comfortable, and when I was sparring in it, you know, I did feel protected. So, two fit to box stars, great with this head guard. So, what we've got there is, as I'll bring these back in, you've got very good gloves, one fit to box star, you've got great fit to box star, two for the head guard. Um, I have to say, I like the customization that you can do. I just wonder whether or not the price of these is a little high for the brand. There is plenty of other brands out there doing a similar level of customization. 
uh, for less money. So obviously, check out the website, have a look what they're doing. As you know, I have been very impressed with Grace Gears, especially sort of their, their lower end gear, whereby like the air pads and the gloves, uh, also their mitts as well, they seem to do some really great value stuff. With these, I can see what they've tried to do. Um, I just think that the price point is a little high uh, for Grey Skiers, the brand. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel, and I shall speak to you soon.